Hello oh, guys, to take a break from the 2022 midterms, I think we should do our monthly Biden versus Trump prediction. So let's get right into it. So we're going to be doing safe blue states first, then the safe red states. Now lately, Biden's approval rating isn't really the best so far. It's really just kind of sticking at its current like low 40s. I mean, it was worse before, so maybe Biden couldn't hopefully hope or like hopefully for him maybe he could pull over some swing states to his side but so far it's looking like most states are sticking to their same route all right let's start with colorado i think this is a pretty likely state that biden will win by over just by about 11 points against trump he'll definitely lose some support here because of his low approval ratings and iowa this state just hates biden I don't see Biden even getting close here. I think Trump and most Republicans would easily win Iowa by over 10, unless the Republican is very weak. The state of Ohio, it's a probably a 9% to 8% victory for Donald Trump here. I'll be more inclined to believe it's about 9%. I think Trump would gain a bit, but I think 9% is pretty fair. In Texas, I think Trump would probably win the state by about 7-ish points, maybe 65 I'm certain that Ron Sanders might be able to do a bit better than Trump in this state, just with independent voters, but overall, with the way Latinos are shifting a bit to the Republicans, I'd say about a likely margin in Texas where I see it going in 2024. Now, the state of North Carolina, there's been a lot of polls here, and so far, it looks like Trump and DeSantis would both be winning the state by about a likely margin, by about six or seven points against Joe Biden. It's looking like the state's really turning towards Republicans. In Florida, again, Florida is shifting to become a really red state. I mean, we're looking at the governor and Senate elections. DeSantis is at least winning it by a likely to even safe margin, and same with Rubio, likely to safe. And the fact that Democrats are underperforming so badly in the 2022 midterms and the early vote that the Republicans are ahead a bit by it, it's showing signs that it's going to be a likely red state in 2024, just by the look of it. All right, which state should we do next? New Mexico is definitely going down to a likely margin. It could even go down to a lean margin, honestly, if Latinos just completely start leaving the Democratic Party. But for now, putting is likely. We're not seeing a hugely max exodus yet. In Virginia, it's a very traditionally Democratic state. However, Biden would reform a bit from 2020 to 2024 because his approval ratings have taken a nosedive since then. In Nevada and Arizona. Nevada, I would say Trump's probably pretty much favored here. Just every Nevada poll that has come out in 2024 has Trump ahead by like two to three points. So I would say Trump would probably win the state by about two points, I would say, against Joe Biden. Now, Arizona, just because of how low Biden's approval rating, I think Trump would just have a slight advantage over Joe Biden. However, this is one of the states he could carry quite easily if his approval rating approves among independents in this state. In Nebraska second, I still think Biden would be favored here against Trump because Trump really blew it in uh, 2020 at winning this district. I think Biden would still win it against him, honestly. In New England, I think Maine, Maine actually somewhat approves of Joe Biden just slightly. In New Hampshire, one of the swing states, New Hampshire, I think Biden proved he has a not the worst approvals here, still somewhat negative, but most polls here show Biden ahead of Trump by a pretty decent margin, about a lean margin. So I'd say Biden would probably win that state, while Maine second would go to Trump by a likely margin. And we just have a few more states left here. Now the state of Minnesota, I think would back Biden just barely over likely, just a clean 5% could go down to lean, but I would say it's just barely likely. Because there'll be will be some independents moving towards Trump and the Rust Belt because of Biden's low approvals. In the state of Georgia, this is a really tough one to predict. However, Biden's approvals, the latest one I saw is nine minus twenty in the state of Georgia. And most polls usually show Trump with a slight lead here in Georgia, so I think Trump would actually pull off a slight narrow tilt Republican win in the state. Definitely under one percent. It's a state that's gonna be very close. Now, Wisconsin, it's probably going to go towards Trump, honestly, and Trump would probably win it by about two. 
Trump would probably also win uh, Pennsylvania by about 1.5 to 1.8 as well, just because of his populist appeals. In the state of Michigan, it's very hard to tell where it would land, but I think it would narrowly land with Trump so far, just because Trump would probably have really good populist appeal in this state, plus Biden's approvals aren't really the best. However, if Biden does have a good 2022 midterms, the Democratic Party does very well, or at least holds a lot, or at least holds a Senate. I'll say this. If Democrats manage to hold the Senate and they don't get destroyed in the House, maybe a couple of these state ratings will change. But as of right now, this is where I see them at because of how low Joe Biden's approval rating is. But Biden could easily turn it around. He just needs to get a win in Arizona, Michigan, Georgia, Definitely improve among Hispanics enough to win Nevada, but he has a path of victory without Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, but it's a very narrow one. So that's my election prediction. It was Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Let me know what you think this video in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.